Hello everyone and welcome to another Tea and Tag with K. Renee. Here at K. Renee Knows. Before we get started, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you like it at the end. So today I am drinking Celestial Seasonings Cinnamon Apple Spice. I am so excited about fall being here. I think tomorrow is the official first day of fall. Who cares? Whatever. It's that time of year, guys. Okay, so um, I'm drinking it out of my Kim mug that my parents got me for my birthday. You guys have seen this mug. So today's tag is the TMI tag. And to be quite honest, this is terrifying. So pray my strength in the Lord, saints. Okay, <laughs> TMI. Number one, what are you wearing? I'm wearing just this black top and some purple um, khaki, uh, not khakis, capris. Ever been in love? Why yes, yes I have. This love that I have with my current husband is a different love than any I've experienced romantically. However, I was married once before and obviously at that time I was in love as well. It was just a really different, um, I didn't really fully know what love was love. Does that make sense? Ever had a terrible breakup? <laughs> yes, I am a divorcee. So yes, I have been through a terrible, terrifying, horrifying, hot mess breakup. Yay me. How tall are you? I am 5'4 and some change. How much do you weigh? Nosy much? Um, but yeah, I have 210. Any tattoos? No. Any piercings? No. <laughs> one true or OTP, which I'm assuming means one true pairing? Maybe. <laughs> um, my one true pairing if that is what this OTP means and if this isn't what it means please um, educate me below but I'm gonna take it as a one true pairing so if it's one true pairing it means like what your most what your favorite pairing in a fandom of like a show or a book or series or whatever it is, movie okay so my one true pairing is Ichabod Crane and Abby Mills from the like most recent Sleepy Hollow series. I, yeah, them. I haven't even actually finished this, the series because um, Nicole Beharry, is that how you say her name? Uh, was the one who played Abby Mills. And before I got to that point in the series, I was tipped off that she left the series and I was like, no, but I will never be able to see their love real life. I heard that they kind of like did it smooth and nicely, but I'm still scared to watch. Okay, so the next um, question is favorite show, Star Trek, all of them, hands down. I would say Xena Warrior Princess is probably a close second. Favorite bands. I would have to say <laughs> the Winans, Pentatonix. What are some other bands? There aren't really any bands. I like Fifth Harmony, they're pretty good. I haven't heard any of their recent songs or anything, but yeah, when they were on like, what is it? America's Got Talent or The X Factor, whichever one they were on. I was like, okay, and like soon after, I was like, okay. How old are you? I am 31. Everyone. Zodiac sign. Oh, I just skipped some questions. What is something you miss? My sister, Felicia. Um, what is your favorite song? Oh, and I should explain. My sister passed away in 2007. Favorite song? Um, hmm, good question. My favorite song at this moment, I think is, um, what's it called? We Build by Nicole 
Norman. Okay, Zodiac sign, Virgo. Quality you look for in a partner, lover of God and follower of God. Both of those. Favorite quote. Oh, bother, Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Favorite actor. At the moment, Benedict Cumberbatch. Favorite color, pink and purple, baby. All day, every day. Got on purple pants right now. Mm -hmm. uh, loud music or soft? It depends on what mood I'm in. Yeah. But mostly loud. Where do you go when you're sad? How long does it take you to shower? Like five minutes. Y'all, I don't know what y'all be doing in the shower, but just wash. You could just wash and get out. How long, do, how long does it take you to get ready in the morning? It depends. Like if I'm really, if I can get really ready really quickly if I need to just run out, but I can take a longer time if it's like a special occasion or like something important. Ever been in a physical fight? Nope. Don't plan on ever being in a physical fight either. Yeah, no. Turn on. When you know the word of God, yo. Husband, it's so funny. There, maybe I'll tell you guys like our love story. Um, but there's this one night when he like, he was just talking biblically and I was just like and this is when we were just like talking we were texting and I was like and we were sending voice messages on you know how an iMessage you can send voice message <laughs> and he sent me this message and I was like did he get out of here and legit y'all we were talking about the word of God and like bible study methods like scouts honor for real and I was just like oh so it's one of our like funny inside jokes Turn off um, when you don't, when you're not mature, like just in life. When you do not have your stuff together and you have no desire to get your stuff together, that's a turn off. Reason I joined YouTube because I, I decided when I couldn't find what I was looking for that if I was gonna figure it out, I might as well document it and help someone else. Fears, um, heights, being perceived as crazy, I would have to say, are my number two, I mean my one and two. Last thing that made you cry. Oh, okay. Kayla, if you're watching this, my cousin's fiance posted this tragic thing from like Tumblr or something on Facebook this morning and I cried. And I was like, why did you do this to me? I'm gonna link it below. Um, last time you said you love someone. Husband. Meeting behind your YouTube name. K Renee knows. Now, I may not know, I know I don't know everything. I may not know what much, but what I do know, I know it for real. So that's why this is just me and my world, making it through life with what I know, what I've learned and what I'm learning. Um, last book you read. The last book I read was called This Time With Love. I think it's a Christian romance. I'll link it below. The book you're currently reading, the Dan Brown book. Man, I can't even think of the name. Well, over to a kinder will go. All right. Um, oh, Mirror Mirror was the name of the book that I just read. There's this book called The Banishment of Mirrorwood that I'm reading right now. And I'm currently reading Huge. 
it's a, uh, a comic book about 45 and the um, Dan Brown book that I'm currently reading is Inferno. Ta -da! I don't know why I had such a brain fart. Oh yeah. <sighs> the last show you watched, Star Trek. The last person you talked to, husband. The relationship between you and the person you last texted, cousins. Hey y'all. And the cousin thread, hilarious. Um, favorite food? Mashed potatoes with cheese. Place you, that's my comfort food, y'all. Place you want to visit, room. Last place you were, away from home, the last place I was. Where was the last place it was? Ohio. On retreat. Do you have a crush on my husband? Y'all, for real though. Like, I really have a crush on him. It's crazy. Last time you kissed someone this morning. Last time you were insulted. Yesterday on Twitter? You know, political stuff. It's a tricky, tricky... Crazy world out there. Favorite flavor of sweet chocolate, duh. What instruments do you play? Clarinet and piano, though, Rusty is the name of the game. Favorite piece of jewelry, my wedding ring. I should tell you guys about my wedding ring and the lineage, it's actually quite interesting. Well, to me, of course. Last sport you played? Soccer, like just kicking around with my nephews. Last song you sang? What were we singing this morning? Husband and I were singing, um, some hymn, old church hymns. Favorite chat up line. Favorite chat up line. I don't have any pickup lines. Clearly someone in English wrote these questions. Have you ever used it? No, because I don't have any. Last time you hung out with anyone. Hung out with like hung out, hung out, went out and hung out. I hung out with uh, Shaysha, hey girl. We went to the movies. Um, and then who should answer these questions next? Mm -hmm. Whoever wants. All right, well that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something interesting about me. And until next time, thank you so much.